just received a package this morning and obviously it's the new Supreme Gundam. I don't know how long this is going to take me to build. I'm just going to kind of talk about the box right now. I haven't actually started building yet. And then obviously this video will show you how it will look like at the end. Throughout this whole process of building it, I'm going to keep shooting video uh, while we're building it. I think it's a very good activity for the Christmas, I guess. So let's start with the box. At first, when Supreme actually posted a photo of this on their website, I thought you just buy it and that's it. Like, it's done. You just put it at home like a display. Apparently, when it actually released, I realized you have to build it. This actually brings back a lot of childhood memory. Uh, it comes in like a regular Gundam box. And you can see it has the Supreme logo right here. Uh, it actually looks very cool. Believe it or not, this is actually the first Gundam I've ever built because uh, when I was young, my father never let me buy Gundam because he thinks that I'm going to just give it up while I'm building it. <laughs> Otherwise, the box is just standard. Um, it has a Supreme logo on the side. At first, when I saw this side of the box, right here, it says the height is 18 meter. Uh, I thought this model was 18 meter, but obviously not. Uh, it's just the actual height of the Gundam inside the actual Gundam animate. That's how high it is. There's no way that it's 18 meters tall. Um, and other than that, it's, as I said, it's a standard Gundam box. So let's open this right now and see what's inside. So as you guys can see, it's a lot of parts in here, and I don't even know where to start. Uh, I think there is like a manual inside that would help me out. So let me lay out all the different pieces of packages. It's all It all comes into like its separate package inside, so let me start laying them out. After laying them out, there should be nine different packs of material, I would say, or parts inside the box. And also it comes with a manual so I guess I'll follow this and hopefully I could get this done and see how that looks like I woke up this off today and baby everyone feels fake somewhere I lost a piece of me smoking cigarettes on balconies but I can't do this alone Sometimes I just need a light If I call you on the phone And you're on the other side So when your tears roll down your pillow like a rip I actually cannot believe it Today is the first day of assembling this And uh, right now, all of a sudden Like you were doing part by part And now all of a sudden The shape comes out and you're like, damn uh, it is way smaller than what I expected because it did come in a pretty big box. So uh, hopefully I could finish it probably tomorrow. I call you on the phone and you're on the other side so when you're this Just a very quick update. So now we got the head, the upper body done. The arms too. That little plane right there, I guess ended up it's going to be a part of the body. Now I also got the leg done. Honestly, this is way tinier than what I thought it was gonna be Including the Supreme sticker on it. I can't really even see it clearly But after I put it on when I look at it visually in front of me, I would say it looks very cool At this point 
I'm like basically done. On the menu, it actually only tells you to stake the Supreme Staker in three spots. Like the guns, the pistol and stuff. If you want to add the Supreme Staker like I did, just feel free. Like they gave you all extra stickers. It is a very tough experience. Took me like around 10 hours to finish. Um, not sure how everyone does it. If you actually purchase this and actually put it together, please feel free to comment down below and let us know how long it took you. I'm not moving it because it was actually very tough. I'm not sure if it's because the way I assembled it, when I move it, it's very easy to have some little pieces falling off. Uh, I'm not sure if it's me or it's just how it is. Mm, I gotta say the Supreme Shield, it was a very big disappointment even though it looks very cool. But the way they design the handle inside, it's like impossible for you to use these little tiny hand fingers to actually hold it. You kind of have to lean it against the shoulder because the handle is all the way at the bottom. I don't know why Gundam designed it like this. Um, and also the gun itself. Like when you move the figure, basically it will fall off. The fingers are very hard to operate. If you try to move the finger so much, it's actually going to break it. So just be very careful. Overall, for display item, I would say it looks perfect. But uh, not really recommending you guys to uh, play around with it so much. I know this is a very short video. Just kind of show you guys how the Supreme Gundam looks like. And partial of my assemble videos. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace. Oh,